Hey everybody, it's Mike in the drum room. I'm going to show you about some things that I've recently changed on my Yamaha Stage Custom. And so we're going to start here. Hi-hats. This is a line from Sabian. It's the XSR series. And I replaced my uh, Peisty Alphas. These are a much nicer symbol in my opinion. They have a great sound to them, and I uh, seem to get a nice little um, controlled sound, you know, with the, uh, the open and close bit. Now, if I take a wooden stick, if I can get it here... Anyway, yeah, the uh, XSR from Sabian. And next I did was, I've got me an XSR. This is an 18-inch fast crash. Nice symbol for just almost any kind of crash use. And uh, I, I kind of uh, prefer this actually over a real, real bright-sounding symbol like some of the pasty, peisty have, excuse me. And uh, this was a little warmer, but still bright in its own way. Does that make sense? So, um... Next thing I did was replacement of the pedals. These are DW 3000 series. Um, pretty responsive and there's quite a few adjustments there that uh, can be done with that. Of course it is a double pedal. I can get on the save pedal. DW 3000 this is one step below the 5000 series. Usually it's, the way I understand it, there's a 9000 uh, 9, series, a 5000, and of course a 3000, and on down from there. But these are um, uh, a pretty nice pedal for the price range that's around, and they are quite durable. They seem to be very heavily built, and there's the slave pedal there. I can uh, I can really get some good speed out of these too, you know. I'll have to show you that next video. But anyway, other than that, I have my Yamaha. This is an all steel snare. It is 14 by six and a half in depth. Now this thing uh, was uh, turned on to me by one of my friends at a local music store. And he said, hey Mike, come over there and play this thing. And uh, I did. And I thought, wow, that's kind of nice. Uh, wow, this really gives a good, good smack to it. Now this one, um, you can obviously tune this up, but being as deep as it is, it's going to be more of a fat sounding snare. It does have a little bit of ring to it. Of course, you can do that with, uh, you know, some gels or uh, uh, some kind of dampening that seems to work. Uh, but I do like a little bit of a ring, ring to it. Yeah. The next thing that I did was, if you notice, there's nothing right there. I took away my 8-inch for a while, and I did that just so I could get used to it not being there, and so I can develop more sounds on my 10, 12, and a 16-inch tom. Other than that, uh, 
Everything's are still going very well. I don't get to play as much as I used to. But uh, that's just a little bit of update on my changes. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I will see you soon.